how do you separate the sheep from the goats? Uh, even when our son was little, I mean, we had ridiculous things like the autobiography of Cindy Lauper. Now, there's a great literary classic. <laughs> But then there are also wonderful things, you know, in every public library. So how do you know the sheep from the goats, especially if you're new at this? So I have a couple books that I like to recommend to all the families I work with. The first and most important is Honey for Child's Heart by Gladys Hunt. And once you exhaust the book list in there, then I'd love you to own books Children Love by Elizabeth Wilson, Books Children Love. And it's about yay thick, and the whole thing is a book list. So you have your cool little tote bag or your basket or whatever that you take to the library when you go, and you just keep those books ready to go in there with your library card. And then during quiet time during the week, give each of your children a marker, and they highlight or put a little star next to a book that they're interested in from reading the description, and then when they go to the library, they're not wandering around saying, well, why can't we read babysitter club books? <laughs> they're the only books we want to check out. But this way, they've got, you know, thousands of books. And then what do literary people do when they read a good book? What's the first thing that they think? What else has this author written? Absolutely. And that's how literary people think. So when you read one good book, it's like, oh, let's go back to the library immediately. Oh, my word, there's 20 books by this author and you never run out of books.